Imagine losing a loved one and being thrust into a complex legal process to manage their estate. It's a scenario that many of us might face, and understanding probate can make this challenging time a bit more manageable. Probate, the legal procedure for distributing a deceased person's estate, ensures that their wishes are honored and debts are settled. Here, you'll learn what probate is, why it's important, and how you can navigate it smoothly. From appointing an executor to paying off debts and distributing assets, we'll cover all the essential steps. Stick around for practical tips and advice that can help you or your loved ones avoid common pitfalls during probate. First off, let's clarify what probate actually is. Probate is the legal process through which a deceased person's will is validated and their estate is distributed according to their wishes. If there is no will, the estate is distributed according to state laws. This process is supervised by a court and involves several key steps, including identifying and inventorying the deceased's assets, paying off debts and taxes, and distributing the remaining assets to beneficiaries. You might be wondering, why does probate exist in the first place? Well, probate serves a few important purposes. It ensures that the deceased's debts are paid off before any inheritance is distributed. It also provides a structured way to handle any disputes that might arise among beneficiaries. And finally, it ensures that the distribution of assets follows the law and the deceased wishes if a will is present. Now, let's talk about what actually happens during the probate process. When a person dies, their will, if they have one, needs to be filed with the probate court. This is typically done by the executor named in the will. The executor is the person responsible for managing the estate through the probate process. If there's no will, the court will appoint an administrator to handle these duties. The first official step in probate is to prove the validity of the will, if there is one. This often involves a hearing where the court reviews the will to ensure it meets all legal requirements. If the will is deemed valid, the court will officially appoint the executor. Once the executor is appointed, their job is to gather and inventory all of the deceased's assets. This includes things like bank accounts, real estate, personal property, and any other valuable items. The executor must also identify any debts and obligations the deceased had. This step is crucial because it ensures that all debts are accounted for and can be paid off before the assets are distributed. Speaking of debts, the next step in the probate process is to pay off any outstanding debts and taxes. This can include things like credit card bills, mortgages, and final income taxes. The executor will use the assets from the estate to pay these debts. If the estate doesn't have enough assets to cover all debts, the court will prioritize which debts get paid first. Once all debts and taxes have been settled, the executor can start distributing the remaining assets to the beneficiaries. If there's a will, the distribution will follow the instructions laid out in the will. If there's no will, the distribution follows the state's intestacy laws, which dictate how the assets should be divided among the deceased's closest relatives. Now, you might be thinking, this sounds like a lot of work for the executor, and you'd be right. Being an executor comes with a lot of responsibilities and can be quite time-consuming. It's important for anyone appointed as an executor to understand what they're getting into and possibly seek legal or professional advice to help manage the process. You might also be wondering, how long does probate take? The length of the probate process can vary widely depending on the complexity of the estate and whether any disputes arise. On average, probate can take anywhere from six months to a year, but it can take longer if there are complications. It's not uncommon for larger or more complex estates to be tied up in probate for several years. A question that often comes up is, can probate be avoided? The answer is yes, there are ways to minimize or even avoid probate. One common method is to create a living trust. When you place your assets in a living trust, they're not considered part of your probate estate and they can be distributed to your beneficiaries without going through probate. Other methods include joint ownership of property, payable on death accounts, and designating beneficiaries on retirement accounts and life insurance policies. Another important aspect of probate to consider is the cost. Probate can be expensive and the costs can quickly add up. There are court fees, executor fees, attorney fees, 
and other administrative expenses. These costs are typically paid out of the estate before the assets are distributed to the beneficiaries. This is another reason why some people choose to take steps to avoid probate to minimize these costs and ensure more of their estate goes to their loved ones. So, what can you do to prepare for probate and make the process easier? First, consider creating a will if you don't already have one. A will clearly outlines your wishes and can make the probate process smoother and quicker. Second, think about setting up a living trust for your major assets. This can help keep those assets out of probate and ensure they're distributed according to your wishes without court intervention. Another tip is to keep detailed records of all your assets and debts. This can make it much easier for your executor to gather and inventory your estate. It's also a good idea to regularly review and update your beneficiary designations on your financial accounts and insurance policies to ensure they reflect your current wishes. And, communicate with your loved ones about your plans. Let them know where to find important documents and who your executor will be. This can help prevent confusion and disputes during an already difficult time. You might also want to consult with an estate planning attorney. They can provide personalized advice and help you create a comprehensive estate plan that minimizes probate and ensures your wishes are carried out. To wrap up, probate is a legal process that ensures a deceased person's estate is properly managed and distributed. It involves proving the validity of a will, inventorying assets, paying off debts, and distributing the remaining assets to beneficiaries. While probate can be time-consuming and costly, there are steps you can take to minimize or avoid it, such as creating a living trust and keeping detailed records. I hope this has helped demystify probate and given you some useful tips on how to prepare for it. Remember, planning ahead can make a big difference and provide peace of mind for you and your loved ones. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe for more personal finance tips and advice. Until next time, take care and stay informed.